Hello guys, today on Les Montres et les Avis, we have a really cool watch today. It's uh, from Audemars Piguet. Um, Audemars Piguet wasn't able to really present this watch this year due to the coronavirus. And it's definitely one uh, which I'm really happy to present to you today with my daily outfit. Let's speak about the watch that I'm wearing today, the Wyalok uh, 1500-500 ST with the white dial configuration. It's actually a new dial that they brought out this year. Quite fascinating, it's definitely the designer which is behind it. It's uh, Geron Genta. He has quite some models which are designed by him, which are uh, meaningful to the watch industry, as uh, the Nautilus, which uh, got uh, produced and designed after the Royal Oak. Royal Oak was 72, 76, Patrick Philippe released uh, their um, sport model. It was quite revolutionary because um, Audemars Piguet, as you maybe know, is uh, in the trilogy of the highest watchmakers in Switzerland. Uh, that's Vacheron Constantin, Audemars Piguet and Patrick Philippe. Board watch which was quite risky at that time and it was as well a watch which had difficulty to uh, be sold by the retailers and the brand itself definitely because it's unconventional I think one watch which is right now on the market which has a little bit of that feeling um, is the Bulgari Octofinissimo um, it's a watch uh, which I think is on the radio at the moment. Not a lot of people are thinking of buying that one, but I can imagine that maybe in 20 years this watch will have the same status than uh, Wild Oak uh, from World Mafia. I think a little side story uh, which is interesting because it's a watch that I used to own uh, was a Bulova, a kind of Wild Oakish, and a lot of people say that. Um, Bulova hired before Odma Pige hired uh, Jerem Jelta. Um, he was working there on a project which was a diver's watch. And he apparently designed it there. And then after um, Odma brought it out, and in the consecutive year, uh, Bulova brought as well the same design out. And I think, I can imagine that there was a clash between those two brands that uh, Bulova wasn't able to, to sell the watch anymore. And let's speak about a little bit of the details of that watch, which I think are really interesting. Um, the Grand Tapisserie dial has that phenomenal look. I think the dial is quite wide, but gives a lot of um, silver accents through the white ball details and what I really like is that they really um, kept the dial simple so they took away the automatic which was before the 41 millimeter the dial was uh, stamped with automatic and the date is completely on the right side at three o'clock and yeah what should you say more the integrated bracelet looks great amazing Let's speak about the new strategy that Audemars Piguet is following right now is to basically eliminate the retails and sell their self the watches which is quite interesting because right now the brands are on that level that they have the renommé and not the retailers and I think you, if you control uh, the entire process chain obviously you have you minimize the risk of, um, of the pricing getting ruined by discounts. And as well, I think an interesting point is you can more interact with your customer and more maybe you have a better feedback on what the client wants at the end. And that makes a great circle, I think. And it's definitely a strategy that I think a brand like Audemars Piguet 
uh, should fall. To my outfit today, it's uh, quite a simple outfit. It's a Kos shirt that I'm wearing today, corduroy shirt. And I really love this pair of jeans. It's really a daily one. It's from Ami. It's a little bit oversized. Gives a nice, cool look, but they're short-cutted, so that means like they're not um, destroying the look of the sneakers because I love to show what you're wearing as well a little bit with the socks. The socks today are from Le Golfeur du Quartier and their socks are made in Italy. It's a Swiss brand and uh, com combined with some uh, New Balance uh, the 991. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, Feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. Hope to see you next time. Bye.